taking question number 1 of exercise 11.2 of three dimensional coordinate geometry from ncrd maths textbook class 12 the question is show that the three lines with direction cosines as given are mutually perpendicular okay so it is a very simple question we have to prove that the line 1 is perpendicular to line 2 line 2 is perpendicular to line 3 and line 3 is perpendicular to line 1 which means that all the three lines are mutually perpendicular to each other okay now to solve this question we should be knowing a concept and it is like this consider that we have two lines with direction cosines l1 m1 and n1 and l2 m2 and n2 then angles between them is given by cos theta is equal to l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 right and if lines are perpendicular then the product will be equal to zero because cos 90 is equal to zero so if two lines are mutually perpendicular then l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 is equal to zero okay so we are going to apply this concept to solve this question okay now we assume that the first line has the direction cosines l1 m1 and n1 and given by 12 by 13 minus 3 by 13 and minus 4 by 13 and similarly l2 m2 n2 are direction cosines of the second line and l3 m3 n3 are the direction cosines of the third line okay so we write aside the values of l1 m1 and n1 and so on okay now first of all we are going to prove that line 1 is perpendicular to line 2 that is they are mutually perpendicular so for that we are going to calculate the value of l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 okay and this will be equal to 12 upon 13 into 4 upon 13 you can see 12 upon 13 into 4 upon 13 plus m1 m2 so this will be equal to minus 3 upon uh, 13 into 12 upon 13 okay plus n1 n2 so, so this will be equal to minus 4 upon 13 into 3 upon 30 right we can easily solve them the denominator we are going to get will be 169 and this will be equal to 48 minus 36 minus 12 and we are going to get numerator as equal to 0 0 upon 169 or 0 so this shows that the lines are perpendicular that is the pair of line 1 and 2 are perpendicular okay similarly we are going to take the lines 2 and line 3 and we can calculate the value of l2 l3 plus m1 m2 m3 plus n2 n3 okay so this will be equal to 4 by 13 into 3 by 13 plus 12 by 13 into minus 4 by 13 okay and n2 n3 would be equal to 3 by 13 into 12 by 13 only we have to do we have to just place the value okay nothing much is required i hope you won't be finding any difficulty in doing this and on calculating this will be equal to denominator will be equal to 169 again and this will be equal to 12 minus 48 plus 36 and we get 0 upon 169 or 0 therefore the pair of lines 2 and 3 are perpendicular to each other okay now we are going to prove that the lines 3 and line 1 are mutually perpendicular so for this we are going to calculate the value of l3 n1 plus m3 m1 plus n3 n1 okay and what we have to do we have to just place the values so we are going to obtain this as equal to 3 by 13 into 12 by 13 plus minus 4 by 13 into minus 3 by 13 plus 12 by 13 into minus 4 by 13 and we get this value as equal to 36 plus 12 minus 48 okay the calculations are very simple which gives me 0 upon 169 or 0 so therefore the pairs of line 3 and 1 are perpendicular to each other okay so because we have taken two two lines that is pair of different different lines which are possible so there are three pair possible and we have proved that all the lines are mutually perpendicular when taken in pair so therefore 
the lines would be mutually perpendicular to each other so this proves the required question which were which we were asked in this question okay so this is how we are going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you